and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm going to be covering a little baby promo that we got coming on through Madden through the playoff promo. This is something they usually do, or they do a variation of this in a lot of promos throughout the year, but this one specifically is something that we usually expect every year. Make your own predictions, make your predictions and get rewarded. Your playoff collectibles will update with the quick sell value every Monday afternoon based on the previous week's real life results. So pretty much you get to predict the playoff rounds and for everyone you get right, you do get increased rewards. Now, here's the thing. What I'm curious, and I wonder if it's just per matchup, right? Let's say Ravens and Niners play, right? They're not playing. They're not even in the same conferences. But let's say they're playing in the division round. Now, if the Ravens win, does your collectible keep getting coins based on how far they make it through the playoffs? Because that'd be cool. If that's the case, that's cool because then, like, you want to take a team that you think is going to go far. Now, what I don't want to see is if it's like, okay, the Ravens win this game, you get 10K quick sell next round. I hope it's if you build your own bracket based on the collectibles you end up picking, which will be really cool. And as you build up, you have the last two, you get a lot of coins. Now, from years past, it's usually increased rewards though, starting. So like, let's say that if you if you predict the divisional round correctly, maybe 10K, conference, maybe 20. And if you get the Super Bowl right, maybe like 40K. I don't know if they'll go that high, but that's kind of like how it usually gets bracketed. Now, let's head into this. Now, to make your predictions, in years past, they've done like sets and you put them in, but this year they made it a little bit easier. You should have played the solos. Now, guys, before we get into this video and I go over everything, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, boys. We are 100 subscribers, actually like 90 subscribers away from 17,000. Can you guys smash that sub button and come join the family? Can we get 17,000 as quickly as possible? And also, Noti Gang, if you're here for this video, make sure to spam that like button. Can we get 350 likes in this video for this new little baby promo? That'd be greatly appreciated. Liking helps me out. I've had my best month on YouTube thus far, so keep the likes up. And comment down below who you're taking. I want to see your comments down below. Who are you guys taking per matchup? I'm going to give you guys my picks, but I want to see your picks. Maybe give some reasoning behind why to help out the community down below. Now, I went to sets initially. Nothing was there, surprisingly. This year, they're not doing it like that. I have a bunch of unopened packs. I didn't get anything for that, right? Okay, now. So now let's head on over to the solo challenge to show you guys all of the matchups. Scroll up, playoff prediction. So master the art of prediction, select the teams that you think are going to win playoff games and earn bonus training if you select correctly. Okay, so they are doing it with training. They are not gonna be doing it with coins, surprisingly. Now, could it just be for this round? Maybe it's training, possibly. Could it be coins later on? Maybe. But this, so this is kind of similar to the kickoff promo, where the kickoff promo did give you guys training. Now let's see, playoff predictions. Titans defeat Ravens, Ravens defeat Titans. So there's two, do not play both of them. You won't even get that choice. So the way it works is complete this challenge or a Titans playoff collectible. You will only be able to vote for one team. So choose widely, wisely between this challenge and the one below. This challenge will expire January 11th at 11 a.m. I believe they all expire at 11 a.m. on January 11th. So make sure you get them all done. So pretty much each two are conjoined together. So Titans and the Titans, the Titans Ravens right here. These two go together. Chiefs and Texans go together. Oh, I, play, I played that one actually for you guys. So that's why you don't see it. Niners and Vikings, Packers and Seahawks. So... If you think the Titans are going to beat the Ravens, and that is your pick, play the first challenge. It is a full game, five minutes solo. It took me about like seven minutes. You put shoe clock on, it is super, super quick, I promise you. Play that real quick, maybe maybe like 10 minutes took me. So if you think the Ravens are gonna beat the Titans, you do this challenge. You're gonna get a collectible for whatever team you choose to win. Now, I'm gonna give you guys all my picks. But before I do, let me go show you guys what the collectible looks like. I did do the Chiefs versus the Texans, which again, that game could go either way, but I made my pick. I'm going to show you guys a collectible real quick. It's in my binder. You guys can have an idea what it looks like. It looks just like this. Division around NFL playoffs. So look at the back go, Chiefs. This will become quick sellable on January 13th after the division round is over. Quick sell value will be higher if this team wins. So I guess it will have a value no matter what. It's just a matter of how good the value will be based on if it wins. So I did the Chiefs, obviously. I'm going to go through each match real quick, give you a little... Uh, a little quick over, overview summary of what I think of each matchup before we go into it. So let's go to playoff predictions. So Titans versus Ravens. Personally, guys, I think this is one of the most shooing ones yet. If the Titans beat the Ra if the Titans beat the Ravens, they make some magical Super Bowl run. That'd be crazy. But I think the Ravens are taking this game. I think that's the easiest one to choose. I'm gonna go this one right here. Ravens defeat Titans. Play this game, and they each take about 10 minutes. So there's one, two, three, four. There's four games to play. So it'll take you like 40 minutes to an hour, depending on how slow you do it. And you get about a thousand coins for doing all of them. So in my opinion, Ravens defeat Titans. I think that's pretty. It's a shoe and Lamar Jackson's not going down to the Titans in the first round of his uh his playoffs. I I, I don't think it's not in his MVP uh season. Chiefs versus Texans. Clearly, I picked the Chiefs. This one was this one was hard because Deshaun Watson's a winner. He's proven that. He pulled it off last week. Now, based on last week, I want to say I don't have confidence in the Texans to win because last week they were struggling with the Bills. Now the Bills are a great defense. 
but the Chiefs are going to be scoring a lot more than that. And the Chiefs defense is pretty solid too this year. So they're going to be scoring a lot. So Texans better really amp their scoring game up because they are not going to compete scoring barely 10 points and a half or scoring almost no points and a half. Like they're not going to compete that way with the Chiefs. Now Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill and Kelsey and the whole crew. So I think Chiefs are taking that game. Possible Texans win, yes, but I'm going with Chiefs. Vikings at 49ers. This, one's one, this actually might be the hardest one. 49ers have proven all year against the odds, against every matchup they are going to win. The Vikings, though, Dalvin Cook is different. Madison coming in second is different. The receiving core is nice. Kirk Cousins under pressure, though. Kirk Cousins under pressure throughout his career is not great. And the Niners have one of the best front sevens in the league. They get a lot of pressure. They have a great defensive line. Great defense overall. So the corners are going to be pressed up while rushing. He's going to be under pressure. He's going to make some bad throws. It really comes down to the rushing games of both teams. Like It's going to come down to Dalvin Cook and Madison and Boone versus... Burita, Tevin Coleman, and Mustard. It's going to come down to those for those guys, honestly, because their passing attacks are both similar. But at the end of the day, it's going to come down to the running back. Like th that, those run games are, are legit. As long as I'm get hurt and they stay healthy. I mean, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the Niners. The Niners seem like they're having that season, and the Vikings did struggle a little bit last week against the Saints. And not that the Saints are a pushover or anything, but they were not looking too explosive last week like they typically do. I'm going to take the Niners. I think the Niners are just having that season. And then the Seahawks and the Packers. This one's tough too. So Seahawks, Russell Wilson, again, clutch, great guy when it comes to the, when the NFL, you know, Russell Wilson is one of the best at, the, at his position. And the Packers have their weeks. When the Packers are on, they have one of the best defense and the best offensive attacks. But the Seahawks, when they're on, same exact thing. Like they're similar builds. I'm going to have to go Packers. I feel like, I don't know, this one's tough. I'm going to go Packers. Last time they were in, the, in the playoffs, I remember one of the matchups. Seahawks took them on some BS at the end, with some two-point conversion, runaround stuff. I think the Packers have their number this time. The Packers defense, in my opinion, is a lot better than the Seahawks defense. So I think that they're going to they're gonna show up in the playoffs. I think they're going to be able to hold them a little bit. And they did lose a lot of their running backs. They're down to Lynch. Lynch is no pushover, but he ain't what he used to be for the most part. Although I'd love to see him do it in the playoffs. That'd be awesome. I'm going to take the Packers. So my picks overall are Packers defeat Seahawks, 49ers defeat Vikings, Chiefs defeat, defeat the Texans, and Ravens defeat the Titans. I'm not, I'm not being crazy with any upsets. I'm taking the safe ones. I think those are pretty safe. Now, guys, real quick, for all you guys who are wondering, the kickoff quick sell collectibles are updating, by the way. Oh, by the way, also, if you do all those other things, you probably can get a decent amount of training if you get all four right and keep moving on. But the the quick sell for the uh, the kickoff is changing, so make sure you're checking that out. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering. Let's see, where's kickoff in here so I can show you guys? Hmm. Where is the... Oh, open kickoff. Okay. So these collectibles are finally getting updated. So the 49ers quick sell is going to be useful soon. So guys, I don't know if you were watching my channel when I did this. I opened this on channel. I was like, wow, 49ers quick sell. Thanks, Madden. This is going to be real good this year. They ended up having one of the best records. They ended up in like the first or second seed. So it actually worked out, surprisingly. So this is going to be get like one of the max values out of all the teams. But if you have this quick sell still, they're going to be updating as well soon. I don't know about today, but one of these days. As well as the players. The players who got the wins. Their cards will be updating from the ones who haven't updated yet. So stay tuned for all that. Pretty much wraps up everything. So remember, the playoff predictor is going to be like a mini program that goes from now until probably the Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl will probably have its own predictor set. So playoffs will go up until conference championship. And the Super Bowl will probably introduce their own predictor set. Same thing, same format, same style, which we call the Super Bowl predictor. That pretty much wraps up that. And uh, like I said, this will be going on for probably the majority of the month. So make sure I'll, I'll be having this video for you guys once a week going over who to predict. So that was probably going to be an interesting video for a lot of you guys who are indecisive on who to pick. And then I said team of the year comes out probably next week. Super Bowl probably comes out between the, the week of January 20th, sometime between then and the 30th. And then we got NFL honors the week after that, guys. Like a lot of things are going to be happening this next month. And then we get into the next whole stage of Madden where we get into like the more end game part of it with like the 99 overalls and stuff. That's a whole nother phase. We're still going into the first 99 overall phase. So that's pretty interesting. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope this helps you guys out. I hope I don't mess you guys up. Hope you, these predictions help you out. This should be a decent amount of training. At least the free ways for some no money spend players to get some uh, coins and training. And you can obviously convert the training back into coins to so never forget that. So guys, if you're already to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notify bell, boys. Let's get to 17K. Let's get it. And then hopefully we can get to 20K within the next month and a half, give or take, if you still stay up the way they are. And if you guys want to keep that, if you guys really support this channel, spam that like button. If we can get 350 likes in this video, it'll go a long way in helping this video do well, as well as growing the channel, guys. And big things are happening. Things are changing in my life because of you guys, so let's keep it going. Comment down below what you guys think, by the way. I'm really interested to see what you guys think are going to win. And give me reasoning. Give me, like, I think Packers, or give me all your predictions, dude. Uh, just type them in order, like Packers, Ravens, Seahawks. Just go down below. 
Don't say Packers beats. No, no, just do team, 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 team. And then give me some reasoning behind it. You don't have to give reasoning, but it will help the other guys in the community. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.